Hey guys, I got a serious video for you today because a friend of a friend um, wanted to know more about a comment that I posted about a dream that I had. And dreams are kind of a rough subject for me because in the summer of 2002, I had a dream where I was going through my high school yearbook and as I was flipping through the pages, I was crossing people off. And I, I remembered crossing three people off, one I knew, and two that I didn't. So during the following school year, three people in my high school died, um, just kids. And one of them was one of my best friends. So I was pretty messed up for a long time. I felt guilty for not paying better attention. I wondered, you know, what if this and what if that. And, um, it, it left me messed up for a while. Um, I'm mostly okay now. <laughs> um, a lot better anyway, but if anyone has some insights on that, that would be appreciated. Um, so lately, when I started seeing things that seemed significant in my dreams again, I wasn't really sure how to take it. I, I didn't want to see it that way. Um, but I can't really ignore it anymore. So the first one I had probably about a month ago, um, and I don't remember a whole lot about it. I just remember that Jesus was there, and I got to hug him, and that was really awesome. Yeah, I really didn't want to wake up from that one, but I guess I had to. Um, and I don't pretend to know that, you know, these were prophetic or anything like that. I mean, how do you know if something is from God or it's just your brain firing while you're asleep? I mean, judge for yourself, pray over it, but here's what I got. So I was in the backyard of my parents' house, and it wasn't daytime, but it wasn't night yet. And I look up and there are three... Uh, tornadoes made completely out of fire and they're coming slowly toward my parents' house and um, I'm thinking okay, it's starting I'm trying to figure out um, family, friends who I have time to call wondering if I have time anyway um, or if it's too late and the scene switches and I'm at um, what seems to be like a flea market, uh, it's this outdoor um, place, people are hanging out and buying stuff and selling stuff, and um, there's this general atmosphere, um, it feels like we're waiting for something. And I saw a friend there, um, but he didn't know where we were either. Um, no one was really quite sure, but we were just kind of milling around, waiting for whatever. And, um, mom and I are walking around, and a man in armor comes up to us and asks us if we know where we are. And we're like, no, this is, this is strange. We really have no idea. And he tells us, that we are one level beneath the throne room. And I just got overwhelmed and uh, dropped straight to my knees. I'm like, ah. <laughs> it's like, no way, like, ah. Okay, so um, at that point, I don't know if I just couldn't handle anymore because I could feel myself waking up, but I kind of fought it a little bit. Like, I'm not sure I want to wake up. But I did, and that was the dream that I mentioned in my comment. So I'm sorry about the choppiness here and there. This was a rather difficult video to make, um, but now it's out there. So um, on a happy note, I will be, at some point after my camera gets fixed, um, bringing you a video from up in that tree that has been my climbing tree lately, and I love it. And there's this perfect spot where I can go up there and pray and sing and not have to worry about a darn thing. It's amazing. So I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.